Over several decades, mankind has been actively exploring the far reaches of the solar system and beyond. Traditionally, it is we who make journeys to investigate what lies in distant space, things that cannot be perceived with a conventional telescope. The fundamental idea is that such cosmic entities exist, occupying their place in space, and we need only travel there to unlock their secrets. However, the discovery of Oumuamua has shaken all of these conceptions, causing a drastic change that has perplexed the scientific community. Neil deGrasse Tyson has presented real images of Oumuamua, the first tangible evidence of the object. If one intends to contemplate the future of civilization, it is imperative to include an asteroid safeguard plant, and this connects to the enigma of Oumuamua, an interesting object of enigmatic nature that has puzzled astronomers for a long period of time. As we embark on a most exceptional journey, we delve into the very essence of existence, where the enigmas of Oumuamua hold their anticipated revelation. In 2017, an unparalleled astronomical event was found. We detected an object that, according to our beliefs, had its origin beyond our own solar system. Its prominence became a matter of controversy. Was it a comet, despite its singular orbit? Or was it an asteroid, given that it lacked a discernible trail? Perhaps it was something completely unusual, a traveler from another galaxy. And was it the first of its kind? It was named Oumuamua, which translates as messenger from the distant past in Hawaiian, and this discovery became a magnificent achievement that gave us a glimpse into the objects present in space. However, Neil deGrasse Tyson, driven by his own conceptual and ignoring the extensive research done by other experts in this field, has embarked on a public campaign to convince the world of the most incredible explanation for this natural phenomenon of extraterrestrial origin. For nearly four years, Neil deGrasse Tyson has been omnipresent in the media, seeking popular support for a theory that defied established scientific evidence. This theory differs from the prevailing belief, including that put forth in A. Loeb's new book about extraterrestrial evidence as the first sign of life beyond Earth. However, as a scientist, a simple analysis of the evidence shows why this possibility lacks validity. Every object under the gravitational influence of the Sun will follow one of four specific orbits according to the laws of gravity. A circular orbit with an eccentricity of zero, an elliptical orbit with an eccentricity greater than zero but less than one, a parabolic orbit with an eccentricity exactly equal to one, or a hyperbolic orbit with an eccentricity greater than 1. Prior to 2017, we found some objects with eccentricities of 1 or more, but these differed only slightly from 1, such as 1.001, or similar, even with the influence of Jupiter. The fastest moving object within the solar system, which escaped the sun's gravity, albeit by a small margin, has an eccentricity of 1.06. Oumuamua, on the other hand, revealed an unusually high eccentricity of about 1.2, corresponding to an escape velocity of 26 km per second. The speed made it the fastest object to exit the solar system. An escape at such high speed would be impossible even through a gravitational interaction with planets such as Jupiter or Neptune unless these planets did not get in the way of Oumuamua's path. This strongly suggests that Oumuamua had to have originated outside our cosmic neighborhood. Oumuamua could be a fully functional probe sent to the vicinity of Earth by an extraterrestrial civilization. This hypothesis was put forward in a report that has been accepted for publication in the astrophysical journal Letters. The possibility that Oumuamua has an artificial origin is contemplated. One theory suggests that it could be a light sail floating in interstellar space, conceived as an advanced technology that could be powered by solar radiation. Abraham Loeb, professor and chair of the Department of Astronomy and Chuel Bialy, postdoctoral scientist, both of the Smithsonian Center of Astrophysics at Harvard, 
are the authors of this paper. The web has contributed for four books and more than 700 papers covering topics ranging from black holes to the future of the cosmos, the search for extraterrestrial life and star formation too. The article argues that a similar light signal has been observed on Earth. Initially, researchers assumed that the faint moving light was a typical comet or asteroid that had originated in our own solar system. Comets, for example, in particular, experience an increase in velocity due to the outgassing process, where the comet's surface is heated by the sun, resulting in the release of molten gas. However, Oumuamua stood out by lacking a coma, which is the atmosphere and dust that surrounds the comet as they break apart. Several telescopes focused on it for three nights to try to find out more before it disappeared. Although there is no tangible evidence to directly support Oumuamua's extraterrestrial origins, the exceptional characteristics of this object generate intriguing theories and imaginative possibilities. Based on the declassified photos, Neil deGrasse Tyson made some arguments that its unique shape and elongated dimensions indicate a singular purpose. In addition, its unusual trajectory and considerable speed suggest the existence of a possible propulsion system beyond what we know. The fact that Oumuamua comes from another star system raises questions about the possibility of advanced civilizations in the universe. Speculation revolves around the notion that Oumuamua could be a probe sent by an extraterrestrial civilization to investigate and study other star systems. In addition, the lack of a coma or trail which is often associated with comets adds to the mystery surrounding its composition and origin. Oumuamua's peculiar rotation motion, which suggests that it is not a natural object, further stirs the imagination as to how a spacecraft might behave during a journey involving complex bands. In this context, the idea of a functional solar sail, which could provide obvious acceleration due to solar radiation, has been raised. However, current estimates of the sail in the Oumuamua case may require revision, as the actual solar sail would be noticeably thinner than what has been proposed in current research. The possibility of a spacecraft combining a structure with a sail implies that, although the total mass may be considerable, the sail must be extremely light to be viable for interstellar travel. Despite this, the true source of Oumuamua remains unknown, adding a layer of puzzlement to the equation. Tracing Oumuamua's trajectory becomes a challenge that faces concrete obstacles beyond a certain point, due to the constant motion of stars in space. Even if an extraterrestrial civilization were to attempt to plot a course spanning such a vast distance, it would encounter similar difficulties. Now, let us know what you think in the comments box. If you liked the video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share the video to reach more people. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.